This is uh, talk number five, and today we're going to be talking about uh, shoulder stability. But before we do that, I want to talk about how to increase speed uh, because they're kind of related to shoulder stability and power zone, and it'll all tie in together. There's two ways to increase speed. First way is you increase your distance per stroke. Uh, the second way is to increase your stroke weight rate. Um, and that's, those are really the only two ways to increase speed or combinations of those two. To give you an example of that is um, if you go two yards per stroke at one stroke per second, it'll take you 10 seconds to go 20 yards. Okay? If you can increase your distance per stroke from two yards to 2.5 yards per stroke at one stroke per second, you will cover that 20 yards in eight seconds. So there's really an advantage of being able to lengthen your stroke. The second way, uh, if you can go two yards per stroke at one second, it'll take you 20 yards again to go 10 seconds. If you continue to keep the same distance per stroke, but if you can drop that down to 0.9 strokes per second, now you're gonna cover those 20 yards in eight seconds. So what I wanna try to tie in with stay, uh, shoulder stability and power zone uh, is I'm going to bring Gina on here to demonstrate, uh, let's take these off. There it's uh, Okay. <clears throat> One of the biggest things that people do when they try to increase their distance per stroke is if you look at uh, Gina and just imagine that she's got a, a strong stable shoulder here if she tries to overreach, watch what happens to her shoulder. Okay, if she overreaches, the shoulder kind of rotates out and it almost kind of like dis disengages. Structurally, she's very weak out here. And then also the shoulder is, is not stable either and it's very weak as well. So you really have to be careful now to, to really, hopefully you can see this, let me stand on this side. She'd, she'd have a, a stable shoulder and then as she overextends, you can see the shoulder as it ro rotates up. Okay, one is stable, one is unstable. The other thing that happens, you know, as you can see, as she starts to overextend, her hips shot slide. And what happens then is she actually increases her resistance going through the water, and she can end up actually fishtailing. Now, what she wants to do, thank you, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> what she wants to do is she does want to extend in front, but as the hand is coming forward, she doesn't want to disconnect the shoulder to overreach. She wants to roll the shoulder and roll the hips to get the extension out in front as she gets the fingertips down. So it's, uh, that's, that's the correct way to do it, and it's really hard when you're dealing particularly with uh, age groupers or really swimmers trying to deal with the first time is they'll overextend and as they begin the press out on top they put all the stress right on the shoulder right on the uh, um, rotator cuff so that brings us to power zone and with with power zone and watch you know pay attention to maximum distance per stroke if you overreach in front if you overreach and you disconnect the shoulder and you press you can very easily begin to start to hurt your, your shoulder. So, you know, here I just labeled that as a, leak, a weak spot. Um, as you finish the stroke and back from, you know, just the, that final push phase where you're just trying to go all to triceps, the triceps are going to, to um, weaken real early in your, in your race, and it's a lot of effort and you don't really get anything out of it. So a couple things to keep in mind. Keep the shoulder stable, stay in your power zone, roll to extend, don't overreach. Um, and what you'll find is that you can actually begin to get a better distance per stroke by staying in your power zone because you're so much more efficient. So things to keep in mind. <clears throat> Maximum distance per stroke, keep the shoulder stable. Don't overreach. Don't let the hips slide out of alignment. Don't put the stress on the shoulder. Roll to extend, just you know, reiterating what I've already said. When you are, are out on the top and you're beginning to press, be careful, stay stable with the joint, 
out here when you're pressing it is very weak um, and you want to keep the stress more on the lats and the triceps and that's just a simplified way of uh, you know talking about the muscle groups there's a whole lot of other things involved and on your final push phase as you're coming through cut that off early because the triceps aren't going to get anything out of the back cut it off early and use that snap the hand out snap the hand out and begin your recovery and use your hips as you snap and you begin to rotate back. So <clears throat> you do want to increase speed by increasing distance per stroke and you want to increase your stroke rate um, but you got to be careful about uh, how you do it and you want to stay in your power zone. Uh, keeping those in mind we will begin to talk about specifically about training um, as we get into the next talk. So uh, you'll notice that at times I look at my watch because the goal is to keep these talks under like seven, eight minutes.